I mean, people, people like you kind of have to see it to believe it, but it's definitely a um, extremely interesting spot. I would well take your computer and go like this, and I'll be able to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'm gonna take you on. A little, I'll just walk you on a little bit of a tour. Okay, because <laughs> I'm recording video too. You never know what's gonna happen. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We take you on a little tour. Hold on a second. You can be louder. Relax. Can't be loud. He tells my sales manager right here. So we have things like this where we have like basically um, this is basically a tree fort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of, our, all of our conference rooms are named after uh, video games. After video games, gauntlet. That's the gauntlet. <laughs> I'll take you on kind of a little bit of a tour. It's crazy. Okay. Then you have, there's our logo wall of a bunch of our top clients. Oh, wow. NBC? Oh, yeah, CNBC is a client. That's our basically our sales, marketing, and client services team. So it's all mm -hmm. very open concepts. Nice. Very nice. Um, you know, we have our phone booths. I like from, that from England. <laughs> I mean, we have an England office. So when we did that, we basically decided that that would be a good idea. Here's the, um, here's the old dorm room. Of where the company was started, we decided to mimic the uh, the WPI. I went to Worcester Polytechnic, so we decided oh. to build a dorm room in the office. It's kind of creepy, actually, but uh, a couple other I think it's funny. Things. There's actually a. Um, I'm going to show you three other things, but there's actually a. Um, Did I just see Pac-Man on the yeah, wall? Yeah, there's Pac-Man everywhere. Okay. So I'm basically in the. This is called the mom's room. Okay. Um, and then there's actually a secret room through the back that is our speakeasy. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're a scotch drinker or a whiskey drinker. It is. Okay. So it's all this like craziness going on. Um, and then I'm going to show you now, I'll show you the stage. Um, and you'll, in the, I'll show you the stage and I'll show you the. Um, okay. This is the, where the uh, one band, one brand action is happening. Yeah, so this is where one band one brand sits off to the side, but this is where we do a lot of these music meets tech. Um, we do call them Dintini networking nights, and okay. so one band one brand books the bands that come in and play here. Okay, I'm getting bird's eye view here. Oh, nice. Okay, do you live stream it or do we don't right now? Um, uh -huh. But we basically have anywhere from three to five hundred people who attend, and then as you can see beyond the band, this is our kind of kitchen. Mm-hmm. And um, let me see here. This is kind of our kitchen and like game room. So there's, you know, Ping there's a table. table. Like I mean, then what's the my favorite part? I don't know if it's open right now, but you can get a feel for the, the mill buildings that we work in. Is basically, yeah. So these are the types of buildings that Manchester is built upon, is all these mill yard buildings. Historical, yeah. All his Oh, there's the river right there. It's freezing out here. Oh, I'm sorry. Get back inside. <laughs> but yes, yeah, but it's very historical and uh, a very like, kind of open concept. And the last thing I'll show you, which is really awesome, is uh, all the people who perform here. They write the on the table? Oh, very cool. So the guy who says I sang my ass off right there is the lead singer Hoots and Helm Elf. <laughs> um, but everybody from M.T. Barrington, Hoots and Helm Elf, the Wandas, um... You know, Lee McDougal, Albert Aguiar, we've had oh, Jane Ash played here. We've had mm -hmm. a lot of people. Even Newt Gingrich came and stopped in here on his. Oh, really? Close to the nation primary, they all signed the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. so, um, so what I was asking was, where do you find? I mean, what genres are you sticking to? Where do you find these bands? Whose taste is this? Somebody's a tastemaker there that's pushing <laughs> the uh, the bands through. Who is that? Yeah, so basically, it's pretty collaborative. I mean, we oh, have one okay. full-time employee, one full-time employee who works for one Bama brand, uh -huh. um, and he basically he's the one curating and cultivating all the different bands, and then you know helping pair them. But basically, there's four of us who are also a part of the business: uh -huh. Brother Travis, my friend Brady, and my friend Justin. And so we basically collaboratively all look at who wants to, who's going to be featured. We, mm -hmm. We're basically at all times about 15 weeks ahead. Okay. So right now I think we're 14 weeks ahead. And so they all get updated to the site. We send out an email newsletter distribution list every week on mm -hmm. Thursdays. Um, people interact. They name their own price for a five-song sampler. Mm -hmm. They go use a coupon code for the brand. Um, but it's really kind of a – So a that's goal. what you're doing. I understand. It's They go to one band, one brand, and they give you everything, and you look at it, and you analyze it, and you decide which you'd prefer to – 
push. No, so we actually are curating all of that. I got and you. And we're putting it on alabamabrand.com and we're featuring them. We're kind of like putting them into the engine to help kind of push them and promote them. Okay. So it's really more of a marketing platform for the bands and the brands to reach a different, you know, more engaged audience. Okay. Um, and we're really curating that. Now, what's gotten more difficult over time is actually um, – what's gotten easier is we, we get exposed to more and more bands and brands because we're now 49 – I mean we launched at self by. So we're, I think we're 49 weeks in. So right. we launched at self by last year. So what's become actually easier is bands and brands are on our doorstep all the time. Yes. Asking to be featured. What's mm-hmm. getting harder is the maintaining the level of the caliber that we believe – the you know, filtering you've got, process, you've got more and more people <laughs> submitting that are... online distribution, you've got to be a traveling you know, artist, you, mm-hmm. you know, we, we like it when you're full-time, this is your profession. Um, yes. You know, it, so there's a very kind of like unique approach to the types of criteria that we look for. Um, mm-hmm. We're not incredibly rigid on a specific genre, I mean, we've had anything from electronica to indie rock to grassroots to... Everybody. Songwriter. So I mean, we're kind of... A little bit everywhere, but you know we all, of course, have our own unique tastes that blend together to try to decide who plays. Oh, okay.